I was once a camper myself. But it wasn't anything like this. Jeep creep. Hey Jeep Creepers, what's happening? This is gonna be a, uh, a mini video, but uh, this is gonna be a how-to to uh, change your lock on your Coleman Columbia. Um, I don't know what other trailers are similar to this, but um, this is the style that has the uh, the pop out here, and you just turn it, and the door pops out like so. Uh, we're gonna change that because uh, I got this camper. Um, you know, like I would actually get the key with it, right? Um, you can buy that whole part. Uh, they're still available. There's a company that I go through that I've been using quite a bit, and I'll give them a big shout out, which is Coleman Pop Up Parts, and I believe it's dot com. And uh, I ordered a brand new lock and key mechanism. I have no idea how to do this, nor am I watching any instructions on how to do this. So we'll see how easy this is. Um, they only give you one key, but it's not hard to go get another one, uh, you know, cut. And you turn the key, thing pops out, wham, bam. It's got a bit of a nut on the back. I have no idea how this works. All I know is there's two screws right here on either side that hold it in place. Um, we'll start there and see what this thing looks like. All right, uh, didn't mention my Coleman Columbia is a 1987. So uh, hope that helps you guys. Now, this is kind of cool because 87, they still were using standard hardware. So we got two Phillips head screws here. Pop these out. All right, uh, I consulted the old interwebs and uh, yeah, this, is uh, we're gonna have to take this entire skin off to get to the uh, mechanism. And it's all riveted in, so yippee ki yay yee cowboy. It's uh, more of a involved job than a five minute fix. So first I wanna take and get this latch closed. Luckily both of my uh, arms are coming out, which is cool. Slap this screw If you ever get Locked out, you can always drill out the barrel like I did. And uh, once you do, there's a little mechanism. And you can pop it out just like that. Okay, so it's closed now. All right, so I need to drill all these rivets out. So let me go drill. So that's all my top rivets. So that just comes off ever so gently, like that. Okay, and I'll make sure I keep the orientation correct. All right, let's get our side rivets done. Could have did a better job drilling these too. I wonder if I just push these through. Eh, we'll get to that later. All right. I need to remove that as well. Let's see. The video I did watch was for a Coleman top of camper, but doesn't mean they're necessarily all exactly the same. Yeah, if you look here, I can just kind of pry it, and you can see the nut that I need to take off. And uh, I'm going to do that. That way there, I don't have to undo 1,500 different uh, rivets. So let's do that. All right, so you can see what we got here. Here's the mechanism. All the hardware is pulled off. The screws that were through here, I took and I pulled off. Uh, all while being very careful and sliding my hand in such a slim area. Now I need to get this mechanism off without dropping it. Um, well, I won't go too far because it's it's in the closed position right now. You can see both the bars are um, holding the door shut. I got 
got her. But uh, I dropped the plate. So yay. All right, so let's get the nut on carefully. Not dropping any hardware. Got it slid in position. Okay, now I need to get the uh, two uh, screws and bolts on there. Um, as well, do that to line up. She's on, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. Nice and snug. I'll use pliers in the other one because I don't need to. Snug. All right, let's tighten up our, uh, our main nut. Open this up now. Get to it a little easier. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, when you tighten this, you actually got to hold the the handle to tighten it. Okay, and the way this is set up, um, the nut will never fall off, basically because it's pressing up against this plate right here. This holds it all together like that. And there we go, we got our mech. I need to pull these guys out and put in some new rivets. So we got our pliers handy here. Easy. And it should have been. All right, let's find some rivets here. I got those uh, big black ones that I bought. I'm gonna take the uh, O-rings off though. Um, well, maybe I'll leave them on. Well, they keep water out. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, these are similar size. I don't know what kind of rivets they use. They were like steel or something. I don't know. It 
pretty freaking uh, strong though. So use one of these and see what it looks like. These are aluminum, so they're a lot softer. So, um, yeah, I like these. The, uh, the O-ring on them, the waterproof O-ring, gets right down into it, and, uh, I mean, water still could potentially get in there, but it's uh, a lot more watertight. Let's get them all lined up before I crank them all down. Uh, if you're wondering the size on these, these are uh, 3 sixteenths, um, and they uh, they fit pretty good on here. are back in. Lines up nice and snug. Locks nice and snug. Cranks down right. Or, if it, or I should say it locks. And then uh, here's the key. Unlocks. Turn. There you go. So uh, this is the uh, shortcut way of doing this. Uh, not really recommended. You're gonna tear your hands up quite a bit doing it this way. Um, but after the trouble that I had with those rivets uh, being so heavy duty, I'm really glad I did not have to do all the sides. I probably would have had to take this off the door. I didn't wanna do any of that. This was much quicker. Um, you just have to be extremely careful not to drop your hardware down in there. Uh, I did drop the new hardware down in there. Luckily, I had a magnet, fished it out. Um, it only took a second to get it out, so can't really set me back uh, too far for doing it the, the wrong way. Um, the other thing, too, I guess, the other big question would be, did I ruin it doing this? Okay, well, I'm going to give you a nice, fair look at it. And uh, you can see that it's not um, not bent out at all, right? So me uh, bending and tugging on it really didn't hurt anything. So that's it for this uh, time. This uh, this locking mechanism. I looked it up. Um, this is for most Coleman's and also Fleetwoods. So if you have this on a Fleetwood, they're not in the center like this. The Fleetwoods are off on the side somewhere and it's a swing door, but it's basically the same principle, um, the way it works. And um, I don't know how much easier it is to get to on a Fleetwood, but uh, probably a little bit easier than this Coleman was. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, we got more camper builds coming up.